On Monday, November 1st, 2021, Lagos State was struck with the news of the collapse of a high-rise building under construction in Ikoi. Reports on Wednesday revealed that 22 people were killed, with the death toll increasing. Now recall that in March 2016, a five-story building in Lekki collapsed, which was under construction, killing 34 persons. Now following the recent events at Ikoi, we at Ekoa's blog are right here in Maryland to speak with Lagosians on how best to avoid such situations. Please come with us. have time planning but the time planning people they are just there doing nothing they are not doing anything at all we this is these are some of the things we see even where we live in the rural areas there are some places that you know that are not even meant for what do they call it uh, buildings that are not even meant for shop you see the people constructing shop there and we have people who are in charge of all these things they are doing nothing and they are collecting money from you know from the, we 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 know how lucky is Lekki is a very swamp area, and we know the kind of this. It's not that whether the town planning they don't know what is going on on that. I'm talking about that situation of the building in uh, this Ikoi. It's not that they don't know. They know. The, all these places, they are you know they are they are swamp area whereby they feel. If you look at all those the uh, if you look at the uh, what do they call it the history of those those places they are the swamp field area. These areas they are not even qualified to even take such type of a gigantic uh, 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 buildings but nobody care in Nigeria nobody care people it's only God it's only God it's only God I feel very bad for the people who have lost their loved ones there and I feel that the person who has that building should be arrested because when laying a foundation for a building as big as that you should at least lay a very good foundation that will carry that building like my school we have a 14 story building and it's a very it's a, it's a, it's a very it's an old building and it has a very good foundation. If it doesn't have a good foundation, by now it would have collapsed and killed all the teachers living in that quarter. So I feel like before you lay, before you build a house, you should have laid a very good foundation. Maybe like man, much meters down the side to be able to carry the building for a very long time than laying a very small foundation that afterwards is even at the person's loss. Lack of uh, proper checking could be one of the reasons because uh, if you are putting on a structure like that all the qualities all the materials should be properly checked so that uh, there won't be because you are trying to manage things you know managing in the sense that uh, there are accurate numbers of uh, cement and all those things that are supposed to be used in all the materials but because of the maybe the economy or the situation of things you know, the proper checking is not done, especially here in uh, Africa. But in the Western world, they have all the agencies that checkmate all those things. So it's not done that way. It's not done here. Okay, according to what we had, that uh, um, they approved 15 story, yeah, and now they extended it to 21. So those are the reasons. So they are, the, the moment they just do go to the agency, register, pay whatever fee they are, they are paying, the next thing they forget, then the contractor whosoever they, that is uh, putting up building will go ahead and start building, not minding whoever that is coming to check the standard of uh, what is putting on. I think that is what I know that is wrong with that. They told the man to build 15 story, which the land can carry, but the man went and built 21 story building. That is the cause of the collapse now. You know, Lagos State, once you have money, Mm. In our country, Nigeria, once you have money, you can settle people, you can bribe your way here and there and build. We don't do, uh, the major challenge, I mean, the cause of all this is because there is no proper uh, um, building. The people that are in charge of the building, uh, land building, you know, they don't supervise, they don't check. There is a building along this road, now this Emmanuel Street here, you know. They, they were supposed to open a restaurant or bar, there about, uh, something like that. 
along the road. But when the uh, uh, land uh, uh, planning, I don't know what they call them in Lagos State, they came and supervised the place. They saw that there is no parking space. Because of that, they canceled the building, they lock up the place. That's why they've not started operation. If not, they would have started. working at the uh, town planning authority, they are the one that is not doing their job. So this is not the first time for all these things to be happening. Hey, they should do their job. The people are not doing their job. They are taking the gunje. The gunje is too much in this country. People take eyes away. Whether you die, whether you don't die, all this one that they are doing at where the building collapsed, is just a common flag. It's just a common flag. The governor, the governor will go there, he will sympathize. This one we go there, he will say, but do they want to tell me that there is nobody that is heading that place? So that is the pro problem. Until the system is being bring back to the normal, this thing, that is when we are going to be free in this country. But with this type of situation we are going to, we are going in, in this country, my sister, it's going to be very difficult to, because everybody needs money. Everybody needs money. Go to the damn, damn planet there, they are not doing anything. They are not doing anything. And they are paying. They are not doing anything. I'm so sorry. It's only God. It's only God. And we have been saying God, God, God. That is our anthem in Nigeria here, in Lagos here. The person should buy more lands and build less story buildings. And like they should make a very good foundation before building a house. Because a good foundation makes the house stay very long. That's what I feel about that. My own advice to the government is uh, to avoid searching next time. When uh, somebody, when someone or maybe a particular company or agency or individual is putting on a structure, I think uh, agency should follow it up from the beginning till the ending. They should follow it up. Make sure you are putting on, you putting the right material. Make sure you are not using fake. You know, if it is cement, the numbers of cement that are supposed to consume. Because I was listening to a particular radio station this morning. They said um, uh, someone was complaining that uh, a bag of uh, cement that was supposed to use for social setting numbers of blocks are used for over 50 or 50, 55 numbers of blocks, which is not done. So I think these are the things that uh, the government need to be following up to checkmate so that uh, to avoid for any further occurrences. Before they build the house, let them check the situation of the land before they build house. That is the cause of it in Lagos. Because the thing is too much in Lagos. It's not like that in other states. If the people in charge of, I believe there is a body in charge of it, you know Lagos State these days, once a building collapses or it catches fire, the government will come and seize the property, it becomes theirs. So if they can put a measure in place to supervise, to prevent such things from happening, uh -huh. If they can put a measure in place, the people in charge should do their work adequately and not just go there because the person has money, he bribes you, takes you, allow the building to go on. Even when you saw that the building, the material they are using are substandard. You understand? If they can prevent such and do their work norm adequately, then such thing will be prevented. Here you have it, the thoughts of Lagosians about the story. The Lagos State Governor, Babajide Sonolu, has revealed that a five-member panel has been set up to investigate the cause of the collapse of the 21-story building and giving a 30-day ultimatum. But before then, please let us know your thoughts on the story in the comments section. From Ekoa's blog, I am Lucy Ohiri. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media platforms. Thank you.